Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Frank here from Truth No Chaser. And yes, you have entered another episode of Frankie Sports Bar, a place you can get your sip on and your weekly dose of sports all in one place. Yes, sir, I got a really good one here for you today. But as always, I want to remind you to follow us on all of our social media outlets. I want you to follow us on Instagram at truth underscore no underscore chaser. I want you to subscribe to our YouTube and our Facebook at Truth No Chaser. And I want you to visit our website at www.thetruthnochaser.com. Yes, sir. So, like I said, I had a really good one for you guys here today. And first and foremost, let me start it off with all these NFL players opting out of their contract, man. What's that about? Well, I know what it's about. You know, uh, amid the return of sports, Already, you know, there's been numerous cases of COVID increasing uh, among the players uh, in sports worldwide, you know, uh, nationwide, I should say, excuse me. And a lot of players are opting out of their contract this season and they, they don't feel comfortable playing. And the precautions, they vary. You know, you have um, you have reasons like player safety you know players just don't feel comfortable but the most frequent one of all seems to be you know family safety you know not contracting it and bringing it back home to the families you know and as a husband and a father myself trust and believe i definitely understand i understand you know and i know you got some people out there saying well i'm essential i have to work every day why shouldn't they yeah but you don't play a contact sport man you know what I'm saying? So, you know, any man that doesn't understand it's safety first for the family, then, you know, it says a lot about your character. But, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm one of those people. I, I even <laughs> wrote about it last week. I said, uh, I made a post on Facebook that said, you know, people that usually say, I hate to tell you, I hate to say I told you so, usually love to say they told you so, right? I'm definitely one of those type of people, right? <laughs> Because last week we spoke about this. I spoke about I believing that sports is returning too soon. I'm like, yo, we need 2020 is jacked up. Let's admit that we need a complete reset button. And sports is not a priority right now. I know you guys are losing money and all of that stuff like that. But let's close out this season strong with a strong quarantine. Get this, this stuff under lock and key. And then we can move forward amicably. But, you know... I talked about baseball last week returning And then look, look, Florida Marlins 14 people tested positive It's like the whole team Come on, man You know, so That's just my thoughts, man You know, um, we playing with fire right now But let me know what you think about that Moving on Want to talk about the LA Clippers Guard Lou Williams My man Lou Williams Pretty wings <laughs> Because my man got a quarantine for 10 days because he broke the violation. He, uh, he violated the rules of the bubble down in Orlando that the NBA is currently in of not, you know, they're restricted. They're, they're not supposed to travel unless it's of a dire emergency or something like that. But uh, Lou Williams, he did get permission to travel uh, here to Atlanta. And the headlines read Lou Williams goes to magic city to get wings and now has to serve a 10-day quarantine now becomes the first player to serve a 10-day quarantine now this is my thing this is why it's very vital to read the actual article and not just the headlines because they're making it seem like this dude's sole purpose to go to georgia was to get wings which is the furthest thing from the truth he came here to a viewing of one of his dear friends to see him off to his resting place right which is something i'm pretty sure all of us would do and on his way back to orlando magic city which is his favorite restaurant totally understandable because anybody that knows anything about magic city knows that the food is bomb so and and, and that it's probably better than 80 percent of the restaurants out here none no less i understand what it's primary reason for businesses the entertainers the dancers and stuff like that but their food is like right underneath them top tier so 
I don't think this would have been an issue if you would have seen Lou Williams at a a Zaxby's, like in line at a Zaxby's. Aren't you supposed to be in, the, you know, in the bubble in the NBA? Why are you here? We wouldn't even heard about this if it was at Zaxby's, but because of Magic City and the culture and stuff like that, you know, they made a big thing about it. And what is lost in the in the whole ordeal is that he came here for a homegoing service. So. Big up to Lou Williams, man. I stand with you, and so do your teammates, and that's what's up, man. You know, um, any day of the week, if 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 the consequences for me to have to serve a ten day suspension or quarantine or whatever you want to call it, you know, and I was seeing a, a, a dear friend off to a rested place, please, I'm, I'm seeing that friend off, no questions asked. You know what I'm saying? So, moving on, we got another like. Topic. We got it. This is a touchy topic because I mean, I got into a big arguments yesterday about this. So, Andre Iguodawa and Arian Powers had a spat on Twitter, and it started with Andre Iguodawa tweeting, quote, Number 23 of the Mystics is nice. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. End quote. Powers then retweets, quote, put some respect on my name or keep your tweet to yourself. End quote. And apparently to the people that defended her saying like, you know, it takes two seconds for him to Google her name. It is it's disrespectful that he would call about her number. Really? I don't know how many occasions I've called a person by their number. I'm a cowboy fan. I go to the cowboy games all the time. I don't know how many times I say, yeah, 88, in reference to Des Bryant. I don't know how many times I've actually posted, ain't nobody messing with 24 in, rec in, in reference to Kobe Bryant. You understand what I'm saying? Like, we call, yo, we call people by their numbers all the time. And, and that's disrespectful to you? It, the, the man gave you a compliment the reality of it is they're in his bubble down there in orlando he's probably watching the game finally get a chance to get a moment to himself and he's they can't, because he can't really hang out and socialize down there so he's probably looking at the game and he's like damn she out there dogging right now yo number 23 is on the mystic is nice yo see you know listen i don't know how to think like a woman i'm not a woman so i actually went to a few ladies lady friends of mine that that so i can get a better feel and maybe i'm missing the mark but they all said the same thing she overreacted and she was a little bit of a a a-hole in her response because even if you felt offended then you you know there was nothing malicious behind his words so at bare minimum you could have at least acknowledge the compliment first and then corrected him by saying something like, you know, thank you, but I do have a name. You understand what I'm saying? There was a there was a much nicer way to go about that. But instead, you like, and it, it, it kind of creates this this atmosphere like, yo, I, that's why I don't even want to say nothing to nobody no more because you, you can't even compliment people nowadays. Crazy, crazy. And I know I don't stand alone when I say this, but. I didn't even know who Ariel Powers was until yesterday. But now I do know her and I know her more now for her poor attitude than her talents on the court. Take it how you want it. You know what I'm saying? But if you disagree, of course, you can always leave it under the comments. I appreciate it. But moving on to our next story. And this is more of a feel good story here. This is my biblical pick of the week. As you know, anybody that's a fan of the show know I have a caller cab. That's when a person is beside himself, had too much to drink, you to sit their ass down. And then you have a biblical pick of the week, which is a person that should drinks everybody on the table and should be at the bar looking looked at as a hero. That's in my biblical pick of the week. And it goes to no other than Kansas City Chiefs right guard Laurent Duvernay Tar Tardif. Excuse me, Laurent Duvernay Tardif. Tardif. And I hope I didn't jack your name up, sir. You know, saying speaking about putting respect on it. I hope I didn't jack your name up. But the people that know who I'm talking about may remember him from a while back when he received his doctorate in medicine, becoming the NFL's first active doctor, yes, while playing in league history. Well, 
Tardif was the first of many to flex his opt-out muscle by putting his degree to good use and going up to Canada working as an orderly and assisting with the fight in COVID-19, well, against COVID-19. You know, um, says a lot about a person's character when they're willing to sacrifice like that, i.e. Pat, Pat Tillman, for a greater good, you know. And that's good stuff right there, man, because his opt-out is going to cost him about $2.6 million. But that just goes to show you it's not all about money when it comes to everybody. You understand what I'm saying? It's not all about the moolah. And it's very admirable what he's doing. And that's why I'm giving you a shout out, Dr. Tardif. You are my biggest pick of the week, sir. Good work. And last but not least, I want to give... Us on behalf of the Truth No Chaser brand, that is Truth No Chaser the show, that is Ashley's Motivational Moment, Jay's Checkpoint, and Frankie Sports Bar. I want to give a special rest in peace to former U.S. Representative and Civil Rights Leader John Lewis, who passed away at the age of 80 due to his fight with pancreatic cancer. A pure definition of black excellence and a true pillar of our community. He was loved by many and will be missed dearly. Rest in peace, John Lewis. And before I get out of here, I would like to tell you that I would like to say that this episode of Frankie Sports Bar was sponsored by Ambition Custom Apparel Co. Check them out for customized clothing that represents you, your culture and your organization. Ambition, go get it. And that'll wrap it up for Frankie Sports Bar. The bar is closing, and as always, God willing, I will see you next week. But until then, peace. One love, people. Truth. No chaser.